In the 1990s, high prevalences of infection with T lymphotropic viruses types 1 and 2, HTLV1 and HTLV2, were detected in individuals with human immunodeficiency virus in Sao Paulo, Brazil, in association with intravenous drug use, but the current prevalences of these viruses are unknown. Notably, HTLV infection can affect the progression of co-occurring diseases. Therefore, in this study, the authors aim to determine the prevalences and risk factors for those co-infections, as well as the optimal method for detecting HTLV infections in these patients. The current prevalences of HTLV-1 and HTLV-2 in HIV patients in the area were found to be low. The risk factors included female gender, black pardu color, hepatitis B and C virus infections, and intravenous drug use. The authors suggested that the low prevalences were likely due to programs providing intravenous drug users with sterile needles and the decreased injection of cocaine, although this decrease was accompanied by the increased smoking of crack cocaine. They also found that the combined use of PCR and immunoline assay seemed to be the most effective method for detecting HTLV. The findings in this population are likely translatable to other populations in which similar studies may be performed, and these results demonstrate the benefits of the needle program in this region. The low prevalence of HTLV identified suggests that less focus may be placed on this condition by clinicians treating HIV-infected patients in this region.